The small community of Nofai alone, not far from Latrun, on the Tel Aviv-Jerusalem highway, is consumed with concern over the fate of 16-year-old Naftali Frankel, who together with 16-year-old Gilad Shire of Talmon and 19-year-old Eyali Frach were abducted on the way home from school. The Frankel family is enveloped in support. Neighbors, friends from school, friends from the yeshiva, friends of the parents, as well as countless families who come to express solidarity and offer assistance. Among the visitors are the world chairman of Karen Haisod, UIA, Eliezer Moody Zanberg, and Johanna Arbi Perugia, the outgoing chair of the world Karen Haisod Board of Trustees. They met with Avi and Rachel Franco, who have one request of them, that the fate of their son and the two other teens not fade from the headlines. We came here to share with the family that uh, they are not alone globally. The Karen Haisod family is behind them. And that's exactly the message that we are coming out with. The mother of Naftali speaks about two things, Echtut and Havat Israel, the unity of the Jewish people and the love towards Israel. This is for me the most important message that she could give me, to give me strength to continue my activity for Am Israel. Karen Aisod activists and supporters worldwide are able to reach world leaders, as well as Jewish communities and non-Jewish friends of Israel, in an effort to have them condemn the abduction, pray for their freedom, and demand that they be released. The worldwide Karen Hayasod family is already rallying support to help, the two Karen Hayasod visitors note. We'll spare no efforts to ensure these boys are free. We are going to continue with our struggle to bring the issue in the different countries to the acknowledgement of the media, to the acknowledgement of the public, and to the acknowledgement of the leaders that need to take the steps. This is what Jewish solidarity is about. And today we see it. We see it not only by our actions of Karen Isod, we see it physically as people from different places around Israel and around the world are coming in and out of this house just to tell people they don't know, we love you, we care for you, and we are with you in these difficult days. A mother whose child is in captivity, is talking with such a vision, with such a passion, with such faith. The world, the entire world, should understand that this is what Jews are about, and this is what Israel is about.